Farah. Hi. Let's talk a little. I just feel like, yeah. I mean, sometimes I feel like, I feel like that. Because whenever a guy says to me like, let's go somewhere and do something together, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go run here or spend an extra day here, or switch my schedule there. So you're always accommodating him and that you have a sense of whether it's or anyone else, oh, I'm lucky to be here. You know, if you're always conveniencing that person, you don't really end up knowing how he feels about you. And it seems like you give up your power. And I think in a lot of ways, Kelsey has given up her power. I see so much of Vera in me as a young girl, and it's heartbreaking for me. Can I say something? Like, honestly, Taylor, it, like, hurt me yesterday. When we were at dinner, you were saying, it's hard to believe that Vera's done all this. It felt hurtful to me, like, I work my ass off to do all that. I shouldn't have approached it in that way. I should have pulled you aside and said, sweetie, you don't have to be a writer, a musician, a restaurateur, writing a trilogy. I mean, the list just goes on and on, and it starts to smell like bull I mean, no offense, I adore you, but it feels like you're trying to make the world love you for all this as opposed to you. And so it just sparked stuff in me, and that's why I reacted that way. First of all, it's not bull Second of all, if you think is bull and if you feel that people are only doing things so that they're loved for that, I'm not That's saying people, fine. I'm saying you. If I didn't care for you, I wouldn't say anything. And I just see things in you that spark things in me that I wanted to shake you and go, don't be me. I see things about you that remind me of me. I'll give you a perfect example that Jen just brought up with you, is if I were dating a guy long distance, it was like, let me see what I can do to run to this guy and grab a hold of him. I really think, like, this is a place for us to be open, not have hatred towards each other but, and I have a hold hard on, bus Sarah, ride home. Hold on, it's just hold on. Let me, let me stop you for a second. I think you're so used to being attacked by people, all you can hear is what might be an attack, but I don't think that's where she's coming from. There are times where you are in your Farah bubble and you're not aware how you don't connect to people or where you push people away. Can I say something? I, I appreciate the, honesty. I'm not even saying, like, I just feel like I, like right now, I'm getting more, more aggravated. I think there are people in this room that want to connect with you, and I think you don't even realize you're pushing them away. Like, I'm not caring. It's just, like, I care. I care about everything. Try to take it in. Try to look at it as, well, maybe the people here are trying to help me be a better person and a better version of me.